Hello friends, and welcome back to my Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. So, uh, on the last episode, we lost our good friend, uh, Voodoo, unfortunately. Uh, I'm already pretty much over it. I think that we're okay. I do feel a little bad that I didn't get to, uh, get the encounter for this area. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna stay in with Bell against this guy. Seems a little bit, seems a little bit sketchy, you know? Uh, most likely Bell will not one-shot with Shadow Ball, I don't think, anyway. I can't remember what Staryu's special defenses are like. I know it's not that high, but I know it's not low enough that I should be, uh... I should think that, uh, uh you know, a neutral hit will just one-shot. And then also because I know it knows Brine because I have a Staryu, and Brine will... Oh, okay, so it, it's really weak. Like, if Frank can one-shot it with Air Slash, then Bell could have one-shot it with, uh, Shadow Ball for sure. Let's see. Weasel? Okay, well, we're not gonna send in our water. We're not gonna send in Bell against, uh, water types. Uh, this thing's really cute. I, I don't remember what generation it's from. I think it's from 4th gen. But I've always liked it. I think it's it's quite cute. It's not, uh, very functional, mainly because it's fast, but doesn't pack much of a punch, which is, uh, not ideal. Can I surf here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, won't, I won't do that again. Um, Dowsing Machine. Oh, okay, there's a, there's an item here. We'll go look for that first. It seems like this area is a dead end. It's not really... Where is it? Oh, it's across that area, eh? Okay, well, too bad for me then. Yeah, it seems like this area is a dead end. It's not really somewhere where you can explore fully without Waterfall. And uh, the guys are blocking it anyway, those, uh, those fat guys that are just dancing for no reason. Or at least that's what they're saying, anyway. Um, I don't know what else electric Pokemon we can get to replace, uh, what's-her-face, Voodoo. Not much, eh? Why did I call him Voodoo again? Like, I know it's because Voodoo Doctor, but why did I call him Voodoo Doctor? I don't remember. Whatever, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, I know why I called this thing Bell. You know, that makes perfect sense to me. It's the... It reminds me of the, the chandelier bro from... No, it reminds me of the candlestick bro from uh, Beauty and the Beast, right? That That's why I called him this. Wow, Pinsir's sprite looks super ugly in this gen. The thing looked so stupid, holy shit. Yeah, your bug type was real cool, dude. That was 10 out of 10. A plus performance by them right there. Um. Oh, wow, there's so much cool shit here. What the fuck? I really like this, like, all the roots feel really different from each other, there's a lot of different stuff there. Maybe I shouldn't have stayed in. This is Water Psychic now though, right? Or are you actually still pure water? Oh god! No! Did I just kill Bell? Oh, thank goodness, Bell, you beautiful, beautiful bastard! Alright, we're gonna switch you out because this thing might know Aqua Jet. I always forget that Golduck is not actually part Psychic, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank goodness, Bell. You're so good. You're so good. This is like when Frank lived with 1 HP. You two are my MVPs right now, dude. This is so good. So good. Well done. Well done. I could not be more happy with you guys right now. All right, we're going to we're going to switch Bell out. You don't need to be at the front forefront anymore. We can uh, we can put Zoroark in. Who's someone else that I could use for this? Unfortunately, we don't have any answers to our our uh, our opponents so our rival's water type Pokemon anymore. Like he, uh, you know, he started with the, the Samurott, and uh, we, we don't really have a way to answer it anymore since Bambino is dead and also uh, Voodoo is dead. All right, let's take a look what's over here. Is it gonna be another Staryu? Oh, it's a Buizel this time, all right. Well, I would have rather had the, all oh, right, right, this is Zoroark. I, I got scared for a moment there. I would have rather had the, uh, the Staryu than the Buizel, so I'm pretty happy with how things turned out so far. Maybe I should just keep Staryu with my team. Should I keep it with my team? Yeah, why not, right? Do I have a do I have a serious electric weakness? I kind of have a, a grass weakness a little bit. Uh, no, not even my my grass my grass resistances are fine, right? Because uh uh. Bell four times resists grass, and then um, Frank res is, is neutral towards it, so it's not too bad. And then, uh, will the psychic type help at all? Not really, I guess, but it can't hurt. 
I mean, of the Pokemon I have available, it seems most reasonable to keep, uh, to keep Staryu with me. Do I evolve Staryu immediately? This is my other question. I don't remember if Staryu is the type of Pokemon that just doesn't learn any more moves if you evolve them immediately. Uh, it's very possible. A lot of Pokemon are like that. Do I have any good TMs for- well, I'll just keep them around anyway, right? We should always just keep our party full, there's no reason not to, because then, you know, what if I ever need to sack something, right? It just, it just makes sense to be able to keep these things around. Uh, Staryu is fine, we'll keep you with us. And then we'll also keep, um, I guess this thing is the least useful, so we'll just keep him with us as well. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, alright, so I guess we're just gonna head up towards, uh, Route 14 here. Actually, no, no, we're gonna catch one more Pokemon at Undela Bay. I think that's the smart... It, do you see what I see right there? Is that just a fucking Jellicent just floating in the water? Oh, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta talk to it, right? So it is actually just a Jellicent floating in the water. Uh, this is not my encounter, right? I'm pretty sure that this is already... This is still in, uh... Undela Town? Right? Pretty sure. <laughs> I think that's really funny that they just float around in the water like that. It's hilarious. Because these things are supposed to be like the... Wow, this thing is so tank. What the fuck? I can't believe it took a stab super effective Night Slash. Yeah, Ominous Wind is a is an interesting move. Basically, it's a it's sort of a weak ghost move, but it has the chance to raise all your stats by one. And uh, it's not very good, of course. You know, like the chance is pretty low. It's like a 20% chance, but he managed to get the roll that time, so... Good for him. 1900 experience, definitely nothing to scoff at. Wait, was this Undela Bay? Wait, that was Undela Bay. So I just wasted my encounter? Are you serious? No, I'm so stupid. Alright, whatever then. We're, we're, we're not gonna fuck around with that then. Should I have even caught that? I mean, I should have, right? Like, on principle, you, you should just catch everything because you never know when something on your team is gonna die, right? Oh well, oh well, we'll buy 21 Ultra Balls, whatever, dude. Okay, we're, we're definitely catching the next thing that we see, you know? Definitely catching that one. Mm. Jellicent wouldn't have been a good addition to our team anyway. It would have been a replacement for Frank if Frank ever died, but... You know, I'm just gonna go under the assumption that Frank is never gonna die. He's just... He's too good, you know? You can't, you can't just kill Frank off like that. Uh, do I have a serious electric type weakness? Not really. I got Cheryl in the back. You know, Cheryl's pretty good. And yeah, I think I think it's fine to have Staryu on the team. All right. So okay. Well, there's a trainer there. What I was trying to say is, do I want to go into the green grass or do I want to go into the dark green grass? I'm sure that there's gonna be dark green grass on this route. Like I'm almost I'm almost positive of this. Scrafty, alright. That's a little bit unfortunate because I got nothing to hit you with on my Zoroark. Um, yeah, I got nothing to hit you with. You four times resist my moves. I don't think I stay in here. Uh, Frank is good. Yeah, Frank is a good matchup here. Scrafty is a really good Pokemon too. I actually really like it. It's, uh, it's another one of the nice fighting ones. Oh, how much does this Crunch do? Hopefully not too much. Yeah, that's, that's an acceptable amount. Air slash him down. More than half, please. Yes, good stuff. And the flinch. Really good job. Well done, Frank. Well done. You've you've done the finest of work. This is the sort of uh, effort that I expect from all of my team members at this point. We can't really afford to have any shitters anymore. Uh do I do I just go here? I don't want any of the water stuff. What does this say? Yeah, okay. Not useful stuff. Alright, I guess we'll just do our encounter here. This is gonna be fine. Alright, it's gonna be fine. Give me something good. Give me something beautiful. This is actually decent. I'm actually pretty okay with this. I, I would not mind this at all. Um, Snarl should not kill. There's no way that this kills, right? It's better not kill. Oh, thank goodness. Holy shit, I got so scared. How did it do that much? It should not do that much, right? Is it supposed to do that much? It's ridiculous. All right, let's uh, let's Ultra Ball him down. Whatever, dude. Uh, I'm actually okay with the Grass type. This uh, this helps cover a little bit of uh, the weaknesses that I had. Plus, Tangela is an excellent, excellent physically defensive Pokemon. 
So uh, that definitely is a big bonus as well. Vine Pokemon, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. This is basically going to be my answer for Samurott because you, you take on Samurott really, really well with, uh, with Tangela. What do I call this thing? Um, what does this look like to me? This looks like a, like a, like a, like an uni. I guess we'll just call them that, yeah. The, the sea urchins. I guess it doesn't look like a real life sea urchin, but it looks a lot like the sea urchin from, uh, from Stardew Valley, which, you know, as, as many of you know, I've been playing the shit out of recently. Finally getting towards the, the back end of that game. I think I have like a good 45 hours put in. So, you know, I definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of it. One of the things I was scared of when I uh, first picked up Stardew Valley was whether or not there would be enough content for me to feel like it was uh, it was worth playing the whole time. And uh, I'm definitely under the impression that, that it was. I, I finished about a year and a half of that game, like uh, of game time, which means nothing if you haven't played it. So I guess not really a big deal to most people, but basically just uh, a decent amount of my game time has gone into that. Uh, this move pool is actually not bad. This is not the generation they buffed Knockoff, I believe. So Knockoff is actually not a great move right now, still. Um, let's take a look at your stats. Uni Impish is defensive minus special attack. Uh, I feel like your attack is actually supposed to be better, right? Like, I know that I used to run Power Whip when I ran this thing. Mega Drain is a shitty move, for sure. Wow, Knockoff is a really shitty move this generation. Okay. So we're gonna need to, to teach you some moves. Let's see if, uh, how does this thing evolve? I know it does evolve, but I don't remember how. Is it shiny stone? Let's see. Do I have a shiny stone here? Let's take a look. I think I must have one, right? Thunderstone, no, leafs. Oh, it's a leaf stone, right? Is it a leaf stone? No, it's not a leaf stone. Shiny stone? Shiny stone? No? Okay, I I'll look up how this thing evolves later. I'm almost certain that Tangela evolves, though. Like, through some sort of means. Um, okay, well, your, your special attack is still stronger, so we might as well just stick with that. What, what do we have that can that can be taught to you here? Venoshock, maybe? Venoshock? No, you can't learn Venoshock? Alright. Um... Well, wow, I have, like, nothing for this thing. I don't have very many good special attacking moves at all. Alright, well, I guess this thing just rips some shit then. Uh, was there a place where I wanted to buy a bunch of TNs at some point? Not really, I don't think. Alright, so we're not going to put on the EXP share for Tangela yet, because it seems like Tangela might actually be trash in the story mode, since it doesn't learn good moves, maybe? Uh, we'll figure it out. But we'll keep him around for now. Definitely not the worst thing in the world to have in my party. Can I surf off this edge? No, I can't. Okay, but I can go that way. Do I have anything that knows cut? No. Uh, I guess I'll teach it to Tangela. I mean, who cares, right? I'm probably not gonna be using Tangela from now on. What, what used to know cut on my team? Yeah, well, we'll give it to Tangela. Uh, you can knock off as useless this gen, so. In future generations, knockoff gets buffed to base 60? 60, I think? So it gets buffed, like, really high base power, and then also it, it uh, has the effect that if it actually knocks off an item, it does double damage. So it becomes, like, one of the best moves of the generation, actually, in 6th uh, in gen, I think. Is it 6 or 7? I can't remember. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, I didn't notice you there, Parasol Lady. Hopefully you give me some good money here. Yeah, hi, please have a battle with me. Sure, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Gotta, you know, hydrate up more often. My mouth is uh, always kind of full of blood. You gotta rinse it from time to time, otherwise it just feels too shitty. Uh, Night Slash is fine. I really want, like, Flamethrower and, like, Thunder Beam and Ice Beam. Sorry, not Thunder Beam. Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam TMs. I can't believe you hit the Blizzard. Just... Oh, what the fuck? Ah, I used the... Oh my god, I used the wrong move because of the thing. This should do the same as Blizzard. Oh my lord! Uh, Night Slash kills, so it's okay. Holy shit! I did that misclick thing that I, I used to do, you know, whenever you transform, the, the move is 
not at the location that I was expecting it to be at. And uh, that Fire Blast crit scared the shit out of me, dude. Alright, Zorak, you are now uh, officially one of the, the top contenders for the team, you know? Living on 1 HP, living a move that you shouldn't have lived, or living a crit, you know, puts you at the very top of my priority list, basically. Now you're a team member for life, you know? It's, it's sort of like once a marine, always a marine kind of thing. It's like once part of my team, always part of my team. Does this guy heal me? Hopefully this is something that heals me. Okay, yeah. I'm really annoyed. Yeah, Team Plasma. Pampor doesn't listen to me at all. Sure, trash can empty. Heal me. No, okay. What was the point of this place then? Nothing? Can I sleep in the bed maybe? Let me try sleeping in the bed. Bed? No. No, no, can't sleep in the bed. No fridge, nothing in the fridge for me either. All right. No big deal, I guess. Whatever. What do you got? What am I doing? Hunting for treasure. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll take a red loot. Does this wake things up? Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this guy just gives me gifts. I like that. Fisherman? Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to see what's up here. This is a really well-designed area, actually. It's very reminiscent of like those, uh, like just beaches in general, basically. Basculin is a little bit scary because it has sky high attack. Um, still not as high as Zoroark, I believe. I don't think so, anyway. I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have high, as high attack as Zoroark. All right, I mean that did that did decent damage. How much does this Aqua Tail do? Less than half, hopefully. It's probably gonna do more than half. Yeah, it does more than half. All right, that's that's not cool. I don't like that. Um, he didn't Aqua Jet me last time, so I'm just gonna hope that it doesn't know Aqua Jet at this point. Maybe it's only a breed move. Oh, because this thing has adaptability, that's right. All right, yeah, so Basculin actually hurts a lot. Its ability makes it so that stab move is not just 1.5 times stronger, it's actually two times stronger. So, uh, you know, that definitely is uh, not something that I'm looking forward to. Let's see how well uh, Tangela matches up against this thing. Impish is not the best nature. It's not the worst, because defense is kind of its calling card, but unfortunately it's a special attacker, so how much does Brian do? Alright, not a lot. How much does this Mega Drain do? Hopefully more than that. Yeah, that did quite a lot. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that amount of damage. Um, Gyro Ball will do nothing. I'm like certain of this, yeah. Mega Drain kills the Staryu. Alright, good stuff, Tangela. You know, that's I'm pretty happy with that performance right there. That's really all I need from you. I don't really need you to do much else other than take on water types, right? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to teach him, though. What what the fuck? This root is huge, dude. There's a bunch of pearls on this root, which is nice for, you know, the young moolah. Is this still nothing? Excuse me? Is that just Cobalion right there? It, it does appear to be just Cobalion right there. Uh, alright. I mean, I guess we just kill it, right? Like, we're not catching any legendaries this run, so... We just kill him? Is this is this real life? Like, he's just sitting behind a bunch of trees? That doesn't seem appropriate. Or does he run away? Cobra! Cobra! No, I'm actually just fighting him. Alrighty, sounds good. Uh, Cheryl walls the shit out of this thing. It's steel fighting type, so... Oh my god, it's level 45. Dude, this is some intense ass music. Alright, um, should be faster than me. Oh, does this, does this hit on the special side? Alright, alright, it still does nothing, good. Uh, the dig should do more than half. Like, this thing is quite defensively oriented, but even then, I'm pretty sure the dig will do more than half. Yeah, okay, just barely a two-hit KO. That's, that's as good as it wants, I, I want it to be. Don't flinch me. Thank goodness. Alright, so he should be dead here to Cheryl. That Iron Head did so much damage, Jesus, dude. That's why you don't fuck with legendaries, I guess. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. How much experience does this give me? Better be a shitload. 2600, I would consider to be a shitload, so... Cobalion ran away. Cobalion? Cobalion? I don't know. Is this a city? This is the city. Alright, I found the city. Nice, Slack Nosa Town. Are you gonna talk to me about how I killed uh, that guy? Opelucid, yeah, yeah. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now, sure. Wow, the 3D perspective. All right, we're still gonna... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll hear the tale. My dearies, come on in, sure. 
That was so random. Why was it just behind the trees all of a sudden there? Uh, I guess it's not a huge deal. There's mighty hole, giant chasm, okay. There have been brief... The road is blocked, we can't get there right now, sure. Big meteorite, really scary Pokemon. Darkness falls, frigid wind, freezes people. Is that Curum? Oh, that is Curum, right? Yeah, yeah, Pokemon Black 2 is the one where Curum Black and Curum White were announced. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It's Curum fusing with, uh... With Zekrom and Reshiram, the, the legendaries from Black, that's that's the thing for Black 2, White 2. Power to flee, Freeze, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Freeze is because of the, yes. Yes, Zekrom, Legendary Dragon, yes, Black Body, Fearsome as Lightning, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, they fuse together, I remember now, okay. That's gonna be quite difficult to take on later on. Uh, yeah, yeah, take into account, yeah, Zekrom lives, blah blah blah, yes. Plot, 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 don't give a shit. We're gonna kill that guy anyway, so, you know, who cares. Sorry, I rambled on. Can you ask Drayden? Drayden- oh, that's right. Drayden is the gym leader of this area. That's- you told me this. Uh... It's- it's not fighting, right? It's dragon? Do I have anything that can take on dragons? Hi, yes, yes, communicate. Oops, colleague. Oh, yeah, goodbye. Shit. Um... I don't have anything good to take him on. I have, a. Uh, I guess I have Cheryl. Cheryl's pretty good at taking on dragon types just because he has so much defensive bulk. But uh, yeah, other than that, not really, eh? Technical. Oh, nice! Anything good? Fire Blast is pretty decent. I'll take Fire Blast. Uh, I'll take I'll take all three of these, you know? Fuck it, dude. Well, now I'm so broke. Okay, um, I can sell some shit though. I have, I have a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, this probably is not going to be very interesting, unfortunately. You can't buy Big Nugget? Why not? Can you buy Big Mushroom? Yes. Alright. Can you buy Tiny Mushroom? Yes. Yes. Nice. Star Piece is also for money. Good stuff. Nugget. Gimme- no, I keep those blue shards around. Stardust. Uh... Is there- is there anything else? A maniac? We'll buy it for a high price. Alright, I guess that's the guy. Uh, there was that other guy that I remember, but I don't remember what he did. What- what does this evolve? I can't remember anymore. I think it evolves the, uh... Oh, no, no, I, I already said this. This evolves the- the- the Feebas into Melodic. That has to be what it is. So, a maniac? Who's a maniac? We, we, we ran into one of those guys, right? He's like, oh, I'm so- I'm a billionaire. Yes, sure. I don't want- no, I don't care about any of this. Uh, we'll find him later. We'll find him later. No big deal. Alright, so we got a decent amount done this- this episode. You know, we caught Tangela. We, uh, we eliminated one of the legendary Pokemon, one of the Musketeers. Not a huge deal. No big deal. All in a day's work for Cheryl, I suppose. So that's probably where we're going to cut it off. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, as always, I'd appreciate a like and comment. You know, they'd help me out greatly. And if you want to see more, there's going to be another one up tomorrow. But uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.